What's up, team? How y'all doing? This is a different type of video today, guys. Obviously, you know because you read the thumbnail. Um, this is a video that I did not want to do. But I feel like I have to do it. Because, as you guys all know, we lost two legends in the past couple weeks. Two legends that me and, my, and Ronan hold dear to our heart. Oh, yeah. Two legends that low-key helped mold us into the fans and the idea sets in our heads that, that we, we, we got from them, just watching them do what they do best. Those are facts. You yeah. know, and entertain us. Yeah. To day. this day. Yep. Still doing it. Religiously that. watch them to this day. Yep. You know, like I'm looking over to my corner. And I see my dragon sword. Impactful. You know it what I'm is. saying? Yeah. Like, it's there. It's there. That's something you can't take away from us. That's a fact. Uh, Man. In this video, some words won't be used because of YouTube's regulation. And I understand and I respect it. So I would appreciate you guys don't put those words in the comment section. At least beep it out. And then, you know, we'll, we'll understand where you're coming from. I really would appreciate that. Because for the most part, if I see it, I'm probably going to remove it. I'm not going to block you, none of that stuff. I'm not, no, no, no. I understand, but I will remove it because YouTube and their rules and regulation, I don't want that to kind of grow on this channel in, in that sense. So I appreciate you guys on that. Um, I'm talking a lot. I get like that when I get emotional. Or passionate. Understandable. Um, I'm sad, bro. It hit. It hit hard because um, it's not news I was expecting to hear waking up. Um, I didn't think something like this would ever happen so soon, to be honest. Yeah. But you understand that, you know, life is tricky and you just got to live it like every day is your last, man. And, uh, Make people happy along the way. And uh, entertainment really is about helping people. That's what I've learned watching people that I admire and idolize. They're helping us get through our lives. You know? From like four years old and up. Real talk. You know? Um, we wanted to be those characters. We uh, we saw them through their voices, man. They, they meant a lot. It was beyond acting. They became those characters. Yeah. And... It's a time thing with me. You know what I mean? Like, we we spend a lot of time with these individuals. And if you don't know, we're talking about Kevin Conroy and Jason David Frank. Yeah. Kevin Conroy was Batman. Regardless of, you guys all know my favorite Batman will always be Adam West. But coming in with a a mean slide in, like tch. Kevin Conroy, man. I appreciate that. He is always Batman, bro. Yeah. He is the voice of Batman. That's definitive. It is. It, it just is. His voice was so powerful, so strong. Watching Batman, he can captivate any audience. And he did that as a child. Man. You want to be Batman. Like, Kevin Conroy. Is that dude? You played the video games, it was him. You read a comic book, it was his voice you heard. You watched the animated series, it was him. They brought him back for animated movies, it was him for a reason. Yeah. Defined. When you say a role defined, he's the definition of that. He is a prodigy of that. I got angry when they started doing more DC movies without his voice. All right. It I was, was like, what? Hey. Yeah, no that competition. Ain't, that ain't Batman. Zero competition. You know? The others were cool, and it was cool hearing different styles yeah. and unique sounds, but Kevin was another, he was another level. Mount Rushmore. It just always is. Nothing will ever beat the Grey Ghost episode. Yeah, and we even got live action appearances. Yeah. With him, you no, know. No, nothing will ever beat Grey Ghost episode. Okay, okay. I had my two favorite Batmans on one episode. Nice. Adam West 
Kevin Conroy. Okay. Very impactful episode. Um, I have to say it's my favorite episode of all time. Um, he passed away of uh, cancer. Cancer is very serious, guys. I, yeah. I, you know, I thank the Lord every day. My mother beat that. You know, um, it hits a different light for me because. I watch Batman and I mean, life is precious. Sorry, y'all. I, I'm going to get emotional because I think what ma makes it even harder for me is because I, I met the, met this individual and in the split second, because you, you know, we go to these cons, man. This is something that I do. This is not... It's not for YouTube. It's collecting and books and movies. It's not to make a check. It's my life. I'm glad you said that. Uh, I don't do it to be seen. That's why you don't see a lot of my private life. I don't do it for that. I do it because I love it. And Kevin Conroy in the Batman animated series is one of the reasons why I love it. And why I had to have it. And why I asked my mother to buy me these toys and books and movies because it molded me as a child. Because of Adam West and Kevin Conroy, I wanted to go outside and be Batman. And that was the beautiful thing growing up because we have our heroes. And then in our time, we really got a chance to, in the 90s, they really got a chance to explore those heroes to another heightened level where we felt like we were part of the team. Yeah. Um, I met Kevin Conroy. And I'll tell you guys, it was such a beautiful pleasure to meet him. I'm going to give you guys exactly how much I, I love Kevin Conroy as an actor and a person because I got a chance to meet him. It's really nice. I was at a comic, I was at a WonderCon, I think it was, WonderCon. It was WonderCon. And if you guys don't know, WonderCon is like the sister of like Comic-Con or something like that. Like a stepsister or something. Yeah. Like it's always kind of small. It's preparation for the San Diego one. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Get you build up. Yeah. And I'll, I'll never forget, um, I was down by the DC booth and they were like, hey guys. We have two special guests that showed up today. And we all turn around like, oh, who? who? It was like, we got Jim Lee. You know, we're like, oh, snap, Jim Lee. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah. And they said, and we got Kevin Conroy. <gasps> what? But we, you only could choose one. All right. You know they always do that. Always. Because you got to get your bracelet. Yeah. I was like, well, shoot, give me Kevin Conroy. <laughs> I'm about to meet jump. Batman, bro. What off you talking jump. about? I'm like, I'm, yeah. yeah, Jim Lee, you drew it. That's what's up. That's great. Thank you. I appreciate you. For sure. I'm about to get in line with Kevin Conroy. Yeah. It's a different breed. Yeah. And when I tell you, it was me and another guy in line with Kevin Conroy. That's why I got to spend more time with him. Oh, okay. Man. They all went to go see Jim Lee because Jim Lee had, you know, yeah, DC Universe Online, you mm -hmm. had all this stuff. Jim Lee had a lot of stuff going on, and people yeah. always want to be seen. But I'm, I'm, I'm in the shadows. I come out of the shadows when I'm needed. And I got a chance to talk to Kevin Conroy. And I got a picture, and I got an autograph free of charge. Dope. He didn't even charge me. Yeah. And when I tell you, it was, it was surreal because he's talking to me. And he's Batman. You're like, oh, oh, it's like when I met Seth MacFarlane. And you know, he talks. He's Brian. Yep. It's like, what the? What is that? Right? It's crazy. So I'm talking to him, but I similar I'll, story. When I when I run into someone, yeah. especially that has something to do with my childhood, I kind of express myself a little deeper, and I explain to him, you know, on the love for Batman through his talented skill of voice acting. 
Yeah. He he allowed me to utilize my imagination to a level that I I never thought I could do, especially as a child, because of his 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 appearance. I it grew on me. Absolutely. You know what I mean? It 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 molded me. Those episodes of the Batman animated series taught you more than just Batman whooping ass. They taught you morality, life, love, hate, anger, jealousy, enviness. It taught you all that in one up in in just a series of three seasons. They were real dramas, that's for sure. Yeah. You know, and I was able to tell him that, and I, you guys know, my kids are are not the normal children. Like they are very uh, uh, knowledgeable of comic book and anime. So when I at the time, you know, I didn't have my son yet, but at the time, I was like, yo, you know, my daughter, she sits there and watches it with me, watches Batman with me, and I love the fact that. Even though that came out in the late in the early '90s, you're still able to carry on to the new generation, yeah. and I appreciate that from yeah. the bottom of my heart. Yeah. Shook his hand, and that was it. And it was one of the most sur- surreal moments that I can remember at that time. That's dope. So I thank you, Kevin Conroy, for that experience. And from me, from the bottom of my heart, rest in peace. Man. Go ahead, bro. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Nah, it's... I'm sorry, man. That's dope that you had a story, too. Um, I met Kevin Conroy in uh, WonderCon in 2016 when they had it at the convention center downtown. And that was, that was pretty surreal because I was just going to a panel, and I caught him on the fly just walking through the lobby. Wow. So that was pretty crazy. And I, I stopped and talked to him. It was about a 10-minute 10, 10 conversation. And uh, like you said, it's Batman. He's, he's talking to me like that, and... Just come, come, you know, conversating with him. I felt like he made me feel like I was robbing. Like everything was gonna be okay, <laughs> bro. Just you know, I'm talking. I'm talking to Bruce Wayne right now. Yeah. Very chill. Very uh, nonchalant. Very humble. Uh, such a strong, stern voice. You know what I'm saying? You don't hear a lot in Hollywood, man. Like it was like you were safe. You felt protected. Yeah. And all I remember saying was just, just thank you, thank you for the work that you put on screen. Thank you for your contributions to DC. And just all everything that you've done, television, live action, just thanks. Uh, it meant a lot. And I remember saying that he was like, "Thank you." And he, oh, yeah, and, that voice. yeah. And he was like, "He was like, what's your name?" I was, I was like, Joe. He was like, "Well, Joe, I'm the Vengeance. I'm the Knight. I'm Batman." <laughs> I was done after that. I was like, "Man, thank you." And then we ended it with a picture, and that was the picture you guys saw on Instagram in my story. That was uh 2016 WonderCon when they had it out here in that downtown convention center. And uh, it was legit, man. I'm going to cherish that forever to the end of time. Yeah, and uh, I'm going to say rest in peace as well, man. Uh, thank you for everything. Yeah, the work. We still got content to enjoy because of you. It's going to live on in my oh, house yeah. to, to the end of my time. Yeah. That's a fact. Yeah. Because I still watch Batman to this day. I, I just one of the, it's the, It is the... It's impossible to not. ...number one cartoon yeah. of, of the 90s and arguably of all time. Oh, yeah. It is. Um, and then we got hit with some more sad news. Absolutely. Man. The Green Ranger yep. is no longer with us. That hit. That karate chopped me in my chest. Man. I got to I gotta, I gotta hit hard. <sighs> what makes that sad... <clears throat> Hold on, y'all. Hold on, because, oh, crap. Tommy's the first villain yeah. that you loved and hated at the same time. Those are facts. Yep. He was so cool, charismatic. He was, it was like, oh, Jason, bruh. You know I'm a Red Ranger fan to the end of time, bro. I'm the Red Ranger. I respect it. But when Tommy showed up, I was, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Jason, you got to do it. It was a big impact because uh, you, you're looking at two essential, like, <sighs> oh, yin and yang. Oh, my God. Leader, new guy. And it was always that class. Like, no matter what kind of story it was, hero, new guy. Yeah. And, you know, heartthrobs, you know, if you will, the suave, you know, they were all of that. So, And then martial arts and then high school. And you, you're building all this great drama, like, who's going to be number one? Like, we all wanted to see that fight. Oh, you know what I mean? God, so. Bro. It was funny as kids, like, man, we we looked at color as kids and power. Like, it wasn't really, like, character development like that. But it, it opened the door, man. It was fun. 
And I like that camaraderie between the two because it showed it showed the cheesiness, but it showed the fun and it showed the absurdity and it showed the adventure. And uh, it was just it was great. Like we as kids embraced it, man. Uh, I it was hard for me to choose as a kid, but I always enjoyed Tommy. But uh, man, look. Regardless of what it is, Tommy is Power Rangers. Yeah. Tommy. There's a brand. He's the brand. Tommy. Jason David Frank is the reason why I came back to Power Rangers because I had left after after what saga after uh, Galaxy. Oh wow. I had I, I watched Lightspeed Rescue. Okay. And I left, and then Dino Thunder came. Yes. And I came back, and I never left. I'm a grown ass man. <laughs> <laughs> I needed that. Thank you. Oh, and I'm man. watching Power Rangers. The cheesiness <laughs> of Power Rangers. But it's great. But it's Power Rangers, y'all. People sit there and try to tease you, mock you, but they know in their heart they watch Power Rangers. <laughs> I still watch Mighty Morphin. My son watches Power Rangers. Come on, my now. daughter watches Power. We are Power Ranger fans, and that's just what it is. Yeah. Jason David Frank's passing is very sad, and it angers me. At the same time, I got a chance to meet him last year, which oh, is unlucky. cool. Bro. You're unlucky, bro. I missed out. Man. <sighs> This is why I, I listen to myself and I go with the flow. I don't let obstacles stop situations because you don't know what it's going to end like at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. That's this is true. why it's been my journey in the last couple of years to meet the people because I got I didn't get a chance to meet Bernie Mac. Yeah. I didn't get a chance to meet John Witherspoon. Right. So, and it's not about John Witherspoon because I love John Witherspoon. Pops, yeah, boy. But after Pops passed away, I was like, I gotta meet everybody, man. Yeah. I can't waste time, man. Yeah. Talking about they'll yeah. be there, they'll be there. No, they won't. Yeah, the entertainment stuff. Everything changes. Yeah, yeah. So I got a chance to meet him last year. In the midst of a pandemic. Yeah. We had to wear a mask and everything. And when I tell you, <laughs> Jason David Frank was the most noble. Coolest retro guy I've, I've ever met. Yeah. When I tell you, when he walked up, we listened. He had control of the audience by not saying nothing. Not surprising. You really all. don't see that. Yeah. Maybe because we know he could kick our ass. <laughs> hey. Maybe that's it. Watch it, young fella. Maybe that's yeah. it. But yeah. he just, when he walked in, we were just, just in awe. Yeah. It's the Green Ranger. Mm hmm. That's tight. And yeah, I know he's the White Ranger, you know, the Black Ranger, Red Ranger. I, I know all that, but yeah. he's the Green Ranger, bro. Sikior! Sikior! There it he's is. He's the Green Ranger. Yeah. He's the Green Ranger. And I'll never forget this. This was cold, what he did. He said, I know a lot of people here, and I'm I'm blessed, and I'm happy that you guys showed up. And I know the time says I leave at a certain time, but don't fear. Don't worry. I'll stay until the last fan is here. Wow. I was like, I was like, you know, first in line. But regardless, yeah. I was like, that right there is tight. Yeah. Mad love and respect. Man. I got a chance to talk to him, but granted, it's a line. When I tell you, it was nothing but love, and he understood how to contain the love and fandom of him. Because, you know, I I don't really get dribbled at the mouth. Right. Uh, but, 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 you know? Right. For those who don't know, I have a stuttering problem that you will never know because I mastered that. Yeah. But when I start stuttering, you're like, Oh crap! Yeah. Let me oh let me stop. It's real. So I told him how I felt, and I'm always one hundred. I told him I said, "Yo, I love Tommy. You're not my favorite Ranger though. I'm a Jason Ranger to the end. But when you showed up, 
I was worried. <laughs> <laughs> oh, As yeah. a child, I was worried. That's dope. Because you, you the man. You came in clutch. I can't, I can't, I love you for that. And I, like I just, I can't, I told him I came back, Power Rangers, because you showed up. When you was Dr. Uh, uh, Tommy, Tommy Oliver, I was mind boggled by that. And I explained to him that my son, you're my son's favorite ranger. And he was like, man, that's good. That's good. I mean, he was like, he was like, you got to teach the kids, man, the ways of the, you know, of, 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 you know, the power rangers, you know, and, and, and I'm glad that it impact your house like this. And I just, I never thought I'd be saying or hearing news like this, just by the energy. So positive, so, so impactful. And I'm sad by it, man, but I'm angry because we lost another soldier. Yeah. And I and I don't know all the full details. We just hear the news. But I, I refuse to believe it. It had to be something else. I don't I don't want to believe that that news. I don't. Because that man's energy I read energy and it was it was so positive and so strong and when I tell you how he commanded everybody that will Yeah. I I refuse to believe it, man. It's not easy to process. Um I didn't have the luxury of uh meeting Jason David Frank the same way J three did. But uh I kept up with his career and stuff and you know, the things that he was involved in with Power Rangers stuff, you know, he with the conventions and things like that. He had his um, reality series, uh, My Mighty Morphin Life, which was, like, super fun. Uh, he would do documentary vlogs, film, like, parachuting and doing things with his uh, family and stuff like that, and then training in the gym, and he had a martial arts seminar for the kids. He was very active in the martial arts community and in the Power Rangers community. And then he would do stuff with Super Power Beatdown, which I really oh, yes. missed and enjoyed, man. So they had a lot of Power Rangers content over there. And then he came over into the Valent Universe with the whole Ninjack and Bloodshot and stuff. So that was cool. He was always constantly making fan films and movies. And when I say he was really involved in the action martial arts community, martial arts fans, I like, really spoke about him highly. And I understand why he was really active in that stuff. And he was part of a lot of that pop culture stuff that we were into. Street Fighter, when they had the Power Rangers, the Street Fighter crossover, that was dope. We reacted to it. Man, and I remember all that stuff. It's going to be harder to go back and watch those again. But uh, those are the memories that I have of him. Like, he was constantly a workaholic, man. Like, and he stayed in the martial arts. He never, you know, betrayed it or any of that. Like, he stayed in it. And every time, like, he was on social media, he was all about the martial arts. And I respect that because that's one of the things that – got me into his work and watching him was martial arts, man. And that's what it was. And that's what it always will be. Man. It's, it's, it's like, why Tommy, yeah. you know, or, you know, you know what I mean, Jason. It's sad, man. And it hurts because I'm only 36. Yeah. You know, I I want to be like, yo, I want to see these guys, you know, when I'm 40, 56, you know? Mm -hmm. But like, man, I, I don't know if you remember me, you know? It's just, it's sad, man. It's hard. It's really hard. And I hope Jason David Frank finds peace. Yeah. I want him to rest in peace. I'm just, I'm torn. I am vengeance. I am the night. I am Batman! This whole thing really hasn't changed me. I mean, uh, I just get recognized now, you know, by kids and stuff. It's great to be able to be a positive role model on kids. Peace out, guys. <laughs>